Yeah, students. Yeah, this is uh, week two, problem number one. Uh, the flower bed, a flower bed in botanical garden is elliptical in shape. Major and minor axes are nine meter. That is representing nine thousand mm and five point five meter, five thousand and five hundred mm. You scale one is to hundred by concentric circle method. This is a question. Question number one in week two. So how to draw this ellipse by using concentric circle method? It's quite simple. To make an ellipse, I just draw an imaginary line that is considered as an axis. The axis line supposed to be long dashed dotted line. Used to be considered as a for an axis, and so let us assume and then let us draw. Here, the major axis is nine meter and minor axis is five point five meter. Now, if you are seeing this, they have specified scale. So that means nine thousand mm. We need to draw. For a scale one is to hundred, so how we will draw? So I am considering I could able to draw ninety mm instead of that means nine centimeter. Okay, so ninety mm. If I am making it for each hundred mm, what will happen? The scale could be sorry, the scale could be considered as one is to hundred. For example, nine thousand. So, if you are considering this ratio for every hundred mm, I am making a one mm. So, if you are slashing it, left hand side always to be what you are dropping, and right hand side is actual. So, it's a drawing. So, nine, and if you are cancelling it, you will get one is to hundred. Similarly, the scale which we just going to adopt here. I am just taking compass, and I am making it for a nine centimeter. It will be very large. So nine centimeter as a dia. So four point five centimeter is a radius. So I am already fixed the center that is O. I am making circle for a major axis. Yeah. So concentric circle method is basically by you need to make two numbers of circle to draw an ellipse. So with an a minor axis, it is 5.5 centimeter. So I could take 50 by divided by 2. So obviously 27.5. So I am making almost 27.5. Okay. So for a minor axis, I am making another. Circle to complete the ellipse. Okay, so now divide a circle in a twelve numbers of equal part. So how will you divide the circle in twelve numbers of equal part? So three sixty divided by twelve, obviously thirty. I am just making the circle. Let me mark one, two. Three and four. Similarly, every thirty, I am dividing a circle. Okay, so I am just connecting. That could be exactly. So center point is slightly 
is 4. Okay, exactly 30 degree the interior angle that I have divided in 12 numbers of equal parts. Let it be. So now we just name the point which is lies in the major axis A and B. The point which touches in the minor axis C and D. These two edges. Okay. Now what we need to do, you have to show the dimensions. It's supposed to be you have to make properly the arrows, you have to make proper dimensioning and this one is you make extension line this is 45 mm all dimension are in mm I just mention all dimension or in mm now i have just divided in uh, 12 equal parts and i know the points that i am naming here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 obviously 12 similarly 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash 9 dash 10 dash 11 dash 12 dash the 12 equal parts gives you the more accuracy than the dividing a 9 equal parts okay now the concept is we just going to draw yeah vertical and horizontal line which is parallel of AB and parallel of CD that's it if you are doing everywhere you will trace the path of ellipse for example I am making a I am just considering this as a parallel one parallel line one parallel line one parallel line of CD So I just everywhere extended the parallel line. Similarly, for the minor points from 1 dash to 12, I'm just making a parallel line of A B. This is okay. Yeah. So you just sketch it in the very light manner to urgency and making it dark you are supposed to use the proper pencil it is the HP too hard and bolt you have to use 2H two times hard that that kind of pencil okay that will be look very good for your better visibility I am making it in, with a HP pencil now I have taken a point I have traced a point for a path of ellipse let us name here see 1 dash 1 dash to 1 there is one point that we have traced let me name p1 let me name p2 obviously let me name p3 let me name p4 p5 this is p6 p7 P8, P9, P10, P11, P12. So P represents stands for uh, path that you are tracing for an ellipse. Now you connect all the path by a smooth vertical curve. Hold your pencil far away, far at farthest end, so that you can able to make a smooth curve. And just connecting all the points which I have traced. Okay.
students do it very slowly i'm not having much time to record this video and so i'm making it fast yeah this is a complete path of ellipse we can make it darker later on yeah that's it so the ellipse is over thanks